Hi, my name is Nicole, and I would just like to demonstrate for you the very basic understanding of the water fluoridation treatment process. And in doing so, what I have here are the three ingredients listed on the material safety data sheet of the hydrofluoral silicic acid that is used to fluoridate our water with. The first ingredient I have here is 75 to 80 percent water. It may or may not be already pre-fluoride treated water. The second ingredient I have here is 20 to 25 percent hydrofluoral silicic acid, which is a chemical compound toxic waste byproduct of the phosphate fertilizer and aluminum industries. According to the Department of Health and Human Services National Toxicology Program, in, the ingredients include radioactive materials or radionuclides such as uranium and radium. Now while uranium and radium found in fluorosilicic acids are known carcinogens, two decay rate products of uranium are even more dangerous and carcinogenic, radon and polonium. Polonium can be carcinogenic to people if exposed to more than 6.8 trillionths of a gram. Hydrofluorosilicic acid also includes hazardous air pollutants such as hydrogen fluoride and ha hazardous metals such as arsenic, lead, mercury, and nickel. Human exposure to these constituents in these emissions may very well be associated with adverse carcinogenic, respiratory, nervous system, dermal, developmental, or reproductive health effects. The third ingredient I have here is the least of these ingredients, which is 19% fluoride. So now you have the product, hydrofluorosilicic acid, which is used for fluoridating our water. Now, keep in mind that this product must be transported in acid-resistant, rubber-lined drums or tanks. Because even in this state, it is still too highly corrosive to be transported in glass jars or metal drums or tanks. Then, it is distributed to our homes, and it is the tap water that you give to your children. Do you want to give this to your baby, to your child, to your grandchild, to your elderly parent? Do you want to drink that for yourself?